happy Thursday afternoon. This past Saturday, I was gardening or weeding out in our front beds. And contrary to what Dan will tell you, weeding and gardening is not my favorite thing. But I've been raised by a whole bunch of people who love it, who love to enhance the curb appeal of their home, who love getting their fingers and their hands dirty. And so in the midst of this overwhelming season, I've gone back to that, which I know. So I was gardening and weeding and scratching bug bites uh, when a church member walked by. And in the midst of our really wonderful conversation, she said that sometimes everyone just needs a good pep talk. Well, I've been thinking about that all week and she's right. Sometimes we just need to be reminded. So here it is. First, you in all that you are and all that you are not are created in the image of God. And that God not only created you and put a sparkle or fleck of the infinite inside you, but also claims you and names you and loves you. Loves you so much that we cannot even fathom it. Loves us on our very best days and loves us on our very worst days. And every single moment in between. You, in all of your gifts and talents, all of your challenges, all of your shortcomings, are a beloved child of God, created to fulfill God's purpose in this world. Yes, times are tough. Yes, even the best of us are fighting maybe some depression or just some really awful low moments. Our patience is wavering. Our endurance, our compassion, our kindness, probably, if you're anything like me, aren't in the best of shape. But as I learned last night in a book I'm reading, we can claim that this is tough, but because of God's love for us, we can do it. So join me on that journey, remembering who you are and whose you are, that nothing in all of creation can separate us from the love of God, and that you, with all of your uniqueness, all of who God's called you to be, can truly change the world. So go. Be encouraged that we struggle and triumph together and that God has destined you for greatness. And I look forward to continuing to journey through this and other seasons with you to see how God has used and called you and your specific gifts to change the world. Because I truly believe that. Amen.